Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In our last video, we talked about Creator Kit. What is Creator Kit? How it can be installed? How to enable the Power Apps Component Framework for Canvas apps? And start using the Fluent UI control provided by PowerCat. So we learned about a few controls in our last video related to expanded navigation, related to this header, having this button to go back and to move around and a bit about this detail list we added one detail list which is connected with the sharepoint list and behind the scenes and in this video we are going to talk about how to connect this detail list with the overlay forms where we can do the crud operations of creating a new item or editing a new item a bit about command control as well so i'll just go to one of my power app which i have already built so in this power app i have this commands add record delete record these command added with uh, with the help of fluent ui command control and on this select item if i double click it it opens the this overlay form into this edit mode and if i click on add record then i get this overlay form where i can enter the data and save it so this overlay control we are going to build in this video so let's jump to it i'll just again go to my this existing app which we used last time and we'll start working in this app itself so we'll start by adding the overlay control first so i'll just go to plus button and we'll find out my panel so i'm adding this my panel to my form so now it's added so if you see over here if i run it you will see directly this overlay panel is visible so we have to make arrangements so that it can be only visible when we are selecting any row item from this detail list. So I'm just closing it, going to my controls and over here in the fluent detail list, what we are going to do on select of this list, I am going to set one variable so that that variable can be, that's a boolean variable which can be set as a visibility for my overlook, overlay control. So I'll just go to on select. And in this, I'll just set variable as open panel as true. And this variable, I'll use the as the visibility of my this overlay panel. So I'll just go to the visible overlay and we'll say open panel as visibility of it. And if I run it, if I select, I mean this row, then it opens that overlay now we have to close the overlay on this button ok or uh, this cancel or this ok button so i'll just close it again and i'll again select my panel so in this panel if i go right inside you will find there are many properties so one is related to this on select on button select at the bottom right and we are going to use this on select and on button select so on button select what should happen and on close select what should happen so i will just select these properties from this on close select and what i'll do i'll set the variable the open panel as false on the close button so that it can be hidden this overlay can be hidden and on button select because i wish to have some operation over here on ok button so if i go to buttons collection first of all in this property so you will see that this table is being used to render these buttons so one is ok button and another is cancel button so the label is ok so, and if you wish to change the label you can update this table so now on button select i'll go and i will write just one simple if statement if self dot selected button dot label equal to ok then i will just notify a success message this item saved it's a dummy one though like we have not saved anything but i'll just say notification type as success so that we can see a green notification bar over there and once it's done again i wish to set my variable open panel as false so that after saving it should be the panel should be closed so now we have just done hide and show of this overlay panel nothing more than that i'll just save it once and we'll run it so right now i'm selecting one of the item it opens the overlay panel if i click on ok 
uh, can uh, close button it closes it if I click on ok it gives me this item saved so till now we are good now we are going to bind the data out of this table to this overlay panel so right now it's just title and content goes here it's a default content which is there with this control so for our test we are going to bind the selected item row data to this panel so what I'll go I'll select this and I can go to title and in title instead of title what I can do I can uh, use concatenate so that I can append my current item name or title to this title into the bar and I'll select my detail uh, grid name so grid name is detail fluent detail list one dot selected item which we are selecting dot the title I'm just finding that with this title and in the subtitle if you wish to show something you can do that very well so just for the sake of uh, saving the time I'm just tying up that to the title only so right now it's showing demo 11 and if I this click on this it shows the title of this other item we'll just go back to again our panel now the main part comes where I wish to have the control binded with this my panel so form should be visible there inside my panel so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply insert one edit form so this edit form I'm just going to connect with my approval demo list so that it can start showing up the columns there and I'll remove few of the columns which I don't require to show and set the snap to columns as one as a linear and I'll just remove few fields which are not required so that it should look compact and nice so I'll just remove few of the stuff and remove this attachment control as well so that we can have more space so now this is fine but I need to have this form binded up with my panel so that it can align whenever my overlay panel opens up this form should be binded to it so what I'm going to do I'll select this form control and will go to my height and position property so that it would be tied up with my panel so I'll just say my first of all my panel height I'll just try to identify my panel content height I'll bind that the this form height with this panel content height we'll again do the same thing with width I'll just go to panel one dot content width and same thing with the position for x and y Panel content with x, content x, and with y, content y. Content y. So now you can see it has aligned itself, the form has aligned itself to that form position, overlay panel position. Now if I open this form it will start appearing up over here but now I have to actually set the uh, visibility for both of this. So this form should also be visible when this panel should be visible. So you can select both of them or because we have already set the visibility of our panel so it's fine. We can set the visibility of this form with open panel variable again. So now I can save it and I can just quickly run it just to look at that my form is visible inside that overlay panel or not and clicking over here so it's saying no item displays that means like form is there but we have to set the mode of our form so I'll just go to this form and I'll set the mode as new so now we have the form inside this overlay panel when I close it it also disappeared so we have done a bit of it now the actual part comes where I would be tied up the data to this form so that my form should start showing the data which I am selecting so for that I'll again select my form and I will add the item property of that form to this item of my fluent selected item so now whenever I click on this item it should show me the data 
and I need to actually define the on select of this item so I should open the form into edit form as my form 1 so that it sh the mode should be edit mode and now I am saving it and we'll just do a quick test run and I am selecting so now the data is being populated in the edit form and now I need to just do a on ok button click I need to a submit a form so that the updates can be bind back to my SharePoint list so I again go to the edit mode and I'll select panel and in panel I would be having this on button select where we have written this notify item saved along with that I what I am going to do is I am going to just first first format it and before notifying I'll do a submit operation submit form and my form is is form 1 so that the data can be saved I'm just saving it now the updates would write back to SharePoint and we'll start seeing the updates within the grid as well I'll just close it by default it should be closed and if I just select any of the item I'm just saying increasing it and clicking on ok so it's submitting the form item saved successfully my title has renamed if I do that with some other one so let's say click it test and I'll just save it or save the response as test response and clicking on ok so the data is being binded now we are able to successfully achieve the editing part of my grid I can over open the panels in this overlay fan panel and save the data into it so we have achieved it now I'll add this add button so that we are able to create or add new items to this list so I'll just close it and we'll just again go to this plus button we are going to take help of one more component which is command control so I can go to this code I can search for command so this command bar I'll just import it it will add to my application and I can simply search that command and have that command bar placed at the top of my this detail list so I'll just make a space for my command bar and we'll drag this command bar to this area and as soon as I drag it asks me to bind the table to it the data source to it so in this what we are going to bind is we are going to bind with the table again but with the item key item display name and the item icon so I'll just go to this creator kit again and we'll just find the command command bar sample of item keys so that we can directly copy so these are the properties over here you can see like item key is must to have on that basis you are going to identify this is the display name of that command and we are going to just pick this table and copy over here in a power app in the items area we are going to bind it with the items and as soon as we bind and just align this better this is going to get give us the same look and feel of any SharePoint site so over here we have this new added delete refresh and we can individually bind the actions on these individual buttons for new we are going to do this right now so let's do that and I'll just again select command bar and this bar I am going to select on buttons on select for this one in this on select what how I am going to identify so I'll be writing a if statement or switch statement based on you need you are to do different different operations for all different different uh, uh, buttons so then better to use a switch case and in switch we can use self dot selected dot item key if item key selected is new so we need to verify that what item key we have added so it must be new only the item key is new and the display name is new as well I'll just say new then 
what operation I wish to do I wish to create have this form as new form and bind my form 1 to this new form and right now I'm just saving it because we are just we are writing just for this new command so it's not equal to I have to add this comma and then operation for my operation which operation which I wish to do and this is for new key if my key is delete then it should remove the item from my approval this list and I item I can just say like selected remove the uh, detail my detail list dot selected item from it and just closing it so I've just done only first two switch statements for new and for delete and we'll save it and we'll just quickly check the new and delete functionality I'll just run it and I click on new new so it's not opening because we forgot to set the visibility of our overly panel as true set panel visibility or open panel variable as true and we can just do a switch afterwards so now our this new form is there in that new mode I'll just say new item and new project and responses and just click on ok so that the item can be saved and can start displaying over there so we can see this item is there and I can select this one and delete again so I have just deleted this item so because we have done this open panel set variable just inside our this control so we should only do this set variable inside our switch so that when a form is visible then only when our form is there then only our variable open should be set not in the case of delete so that's how we achieved this form end to end new operation added operation or delete operation just like any SharePoint grid on this power app using the fluid UI control with the help of creator toolkit and I hope uh, there are many other controls you wish to try your hands on it because they they actually increase the aesthetic point of view or application great controls empowered by fluent UI so you can try you can enrich your UI using this controls so that was the objective of the video and if you like the video please do drop your comments press like button and subscribe to the channel thank you